show you how to. Ah! That's not right. It's called the Boss Auto Heaviest Soap Walker. Ah! Actually, this is a set I wanted the most out of all the Last Jedi sets. And now I got it. Woohoo! Don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a second to build this ad -ad. Hey guys, it's Brandy by Lucas TV Toys, and today I've got the Lego Star Wars Last Jedi First Turtle Heavy Assault Walker. This is for ages 9 to 14. The set number is 75189, and it has 1,376 pieces. You can see all the mini figures right here. One, two, three, four, five. Now, let's look at the back. It shows some action scenes and some features this set can do. Now let's open this box and see what's inside. In this box we've got... Bag 7, Bag 6, Bag 1, Bag 2, Bag 3, Bag 8, Bag 5, the instruction booklet, Bag 6, and Bag 4. Now that I've done the intro, I've opened the box and showed you all the bags, I'm going to get down in here to build this for me. Why don't I get out and eat 20 brownies? Bye-bye! No, I'm just kidding. completed set, the first auto heavy assault walker. So first I'm going to show you a close up look at the features of the set and then I'll go over the five mini figures. So I want to show you a quick look at this heavy assault walker before I talk about the features. So here's it spinning around. You can see all of this walker here. Pretty cool, right? So you can see all the little details and stuff. 
take the big legs with the nice detail in it. Pretty cool. So the first fe feature we have is that all of the legs move with three joints, both the front and back. So first, we've got the foot or ankle, and it can move like this. And then we've got the knee right here, and that can move too. See? And then we've got the hip, which is the top one, right over here. And our legs can do the same thing. And you can pose it just like we did. So, it, so it's not just straight up and down. It can be any way you want to. The second feature I want to show you is that all of the armored side panels move. Besides these two. But on both sides they move. Let me show you. We've got some flats I can move like this and this, but the middle one cannot move, and the back can move too, see, and then we've got, and then we've got some more flaps that, that can move over here, and if you put that down, then you'll find some ammo, because actually on the other side, there's a big can, and it's full of studs, and you can kind of feel them if you shake it. And on the back, which is a very big, big flap, we've got a little wrench. See? Maybe if something breaks, you can repair it. Then on the other side, We've got the same big flap. And it can open just like this. And you can see an extra um, spring loaded shooter. And then we've got another place to put a wrench or something else. Maybe something else to fix it. But it, but in the instructions it told, told us to leave it empty. So you can put whatever you want there. Maybe even an extra blaster. Maybe an um, explosion bomb or something. <laughs> Anything you want. And then on the back we've got some tanks and stuff. And this is for shooting some shooting some studs in the front. Right here. And that's a third feature I'm going to show you. The third feature is that the cockpit can move. See? So you can kind of go like a snake. So the cockpit cockpit can move and also the neck can move. See, it kind of looks like a snake. Ah. <laughs> and actually, the top can move up and down so you can have access to the inside. Now let me show you the inside of the cockpit. So let me take a heavy assault walker driver out of here so you can see the inside. So here's the inside. So you can see that this is probably supposed to be like the windows to see through and then we've got a little control panel on the wall and you're supposed to sit right here and then you can look at the control panel and then um, make big explosions with the with the blasters and then this can move up and down so the first and the final feature I'm going to show you is the weapons on this walker so we've got five ones that are just for licks. We've got two on the side, two in the front, and then we've got the fifth one right here. And then, and now I want to show you two that actually work. So right here next to the one that doesn't work is actually some stud shooters all around it. Six. So let's shoot it right now. Ready, set, go. Woo! Rapid fire! But the only problem is that it is kind of hard to put them back. 
And now let's show you the final feature. So these have spring loaded, spring loaded shooters right in the bottom. And I can shoot them out right now. Let's let's do it. Ready, set, go. Yay! Oh, for the Jedi, it is time for minifigures. First up, we've got the first auto stormtrooper. So he's got his blaster right there. You can see it. And then he's got all his pockets, his belt, and he's got the regular white armor. He's got white gloves. And on the back, you can see that he's got his belt hanging there. And he's got the regular first auto stormtrooper helmet. And he's got, of course, the angry face underneath. So you probably know that face, right? Here we've got a resistance trooper. So he's got his cool looking dark gray type of blaster. Haven't seen that before. That's pretty unique, right? And then he's got brown straps with pockets on them. And you can see it in the back too. And then his belt is right there. You can see it. And then you can see more of it in the front. And he's got his tan gloves with his tan outfit and pants. And then, and then underneath his cool helmet, he's got a beard and he's got a, a half smile on his face. Here you've got a first auto heavy walker assault driver. So this kind of looks like a first auto just regular stormtrooper but he has like this gray outfit, which is pretty different, and he's got a gray stripe right there. And, and for, for me, his face, besides a gray stripe, kind of looks like a flame trooper, a first on a flame trooper, pretty cool. And then he's got gray gloves with a blaster pistol. And you can see all the, like these button, buttons and pockets he has on the shirt. And on the back, we've got the same type of the same type of printing besides the scrape part right here that a first order stormtrooper would have. So it's pretty similar. And his face is exactly identical to the regular stormtrooper. The angry face. Here we've got Captain Pearl Dameron and he, it kind of looks like he's wearing the Han Solo outfit. And he's got a blaster pistol and he's got a belt they can solo would wear and he's got looks like the same style of his black jacket and he's got no gloves and he's got a white shirt and he's got brown pants and he's got his black hair and he's actually got two faces he's got the happy one that you can see right now and then he, he has like a nervous one Last, we've got Ray. So Ray has a, her blue lightsaber, and she's got and she's got gray pants, and she's got straps and belts there with a gray shirt. And then her shirt turns like um, tan tannish right here. And as you can see, she has no gloves. She's wearing right now, and she has a long brown hair, and she's got two faces. One looks happy, and the other one looks, and the other one looks mad. Now we're doing the spinning contest. Ever since the Force Awakens, they've been talking about a balance in the Force. So let's see which minifigure has the best balance here. I'm voting for the Stormtrooper. Let's use the last one on. Okay, looks like Ray fell off. Oh no, Pearl fell off, it's Stormtrooper. Ah! So, so, the, the Stormtrooper and the Rebel Trooper were the last one, and then they both fell over and like the same time. But then the Stormtrooper fell off like half a second before the Rebel Trooper fell off. Hmm, <laughs> he deserves to win. Well, it looks like the Resistance won this battle. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like this one, then make sure you click the like button and share it with your friends so more people know about Lucas TV toys. And if you like this video, then you're probably going to love this one. It's a heavy assault walker, but just a mini version.
Well, but seriously, you gotta check this one out. It's the first order of Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter. Doesn't this look so cool? Well, I already did the video, so make sure you go ahead and check that one out. And the link to that video is right here. And don't forget to subscribe to Lucas TV Toys because if you like toys, then you're like me. And if you're like me, then you love toys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey guys, here are some of my other videos. And I know you're going to love them. So go ahead and watch them.